This tutorial explains how to use case head notes in Lexis Advance to find other cases that discuss the same point of law. First off, what are head notes? For each published case on Lexis, a Lexis editor identifies the points of law and paraphrases those points of law in a one paragraph summary. Those summaries are called head notes and they are published before the text of every case. You can use these headnotes to find other cases that discuss that same point of law. So how do we use headnotes in Lexis Advance? Going back to the example we used in some of the other tutorials, we're going to start with a case, Golden Gateway Center versus Golden Gateway Tenants Association. It's a First Amendment case from 2001. Now we've read the case, and we're particularly interested in a state action issue. What actions of a private property owner amount to state action for purposes of the free speech clause of the California Constitution. We want more cases about that topic. So first we're going to pull up the case by typing the citation 26 Cal 4th 1013 in the search bar at the top and clicking search. Lexis Advance should recognize our citation. And it does. Here is our case. If we scroll down we come to the LexisNexis headnotes. We're going to read through the headnotes until we find the headnote, or headnotes, there may be more than one, that describes the issue that interests us. Here, headnote 26 seems most on point. If we click on the 26, it will jump us to the section of the case where this headnote appears. So how do we find other cases that discuss this issue, the state action issue? Just as we did with Westlaw, we have two options. We want to view the cases that cite Golden Gateway Center and discuss this headnote. We can just click on the link below the headnote, shepherdize, narrow by this headnote. But what if we don't want to limit ourselves to just those cases that cite Golden Gateway Center? There may be other cases that discuss the state action issue that don't cite this case. To find those cases, we're going to use the topics that Lexis has assigned to this headnote. We see that there are four topics that this headnote falls under. One under the general topic of civil rights law, one under constitutional law, and two under real property law. The constitutional law topic seems the most promising, so we're going to click on that. When I click on the most specific subtopic, labeled scope, I'm presented with the option to get topic documents, create an alert, or view in topic index. I'm going to click on get topic documents. So this takes me to a list of documents with over 419,000 cases. That's way more than I want to review. So I'll use the filters on the left to narrow my results. First, I'm going to limit my jurisdiction to California by clicking on California under Jurisdiction. That leaves me with almost 15,000 cases, still way too many. As you can see, these topics in Lexis are much less focused than the key numbers in Westlaw. Because they're so much broader, they retrieve many more cases. The best way to limit these results further is to use the Search Within Results box. I'm going to try searching for the phrase state action, and that reduces my results to 659, which is still a lot, but better. I probably want to add more search terms to narrow my results further. I'm going to search for state action within the same sentence as private, and that reduces my results to 125 cases, which is a much more manageable number. Fortunately, Lexis sorts these results by relevance, so the most on-point cases, like Golden Gateway Center, rise to the top of the search results. Going back to Headnote 26 in our original case, I can click on Scope, and then click on View in Topic Index to view where this headnote falls in Lexis's Topics hierarchy. Here I may see other topics that I want to search. Forums, for example. To view the cases with that topic assigned to them, I just click on the word Forums and then click on Get Topic Documents, just as I did before. A new feature of Lexis Advance is the Topic Summary Reports. 
Lexis editors have created these reports that summarize major legal issues and cite the seminal cases that discuss those issues. Going back to our case, we see the link on the right to view the topic summary reports, six in total. We'll click on the link, and here is the list of six reports. We see that there is a report on forums, so we'll click on that. So here is the short report summarizing the issue and citing the major cases and some secondary sources. The default jurisdiction for these reports is federal law, but for many topics, other jurisdictions are available. If we scroll back to the top, we see that there is a report for California, so we'll click on that. And here we see that this report cites our case, Golden Gateway Center. So that's how to use headnotes in Lexis Advance. Remember, you can always ask a reference librarian for help.